What's going on guys and welcome to the channel. I want to start this video by first saying thank you to everybody for the continuous support. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel, liking the videos, commenting on the videos, going to the website. I see a lot of people are going to the website. It's getting a lot of traction. Uh, I have to put up some new products up there and I will be probably doing that either today or tomorrow. Uh, because a lot of products have already sold, uh, which is super awesome. I shipped everything out already. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just uh, really grateful for the support. I want to say happy holidays to everybody. I don't know if uh, I'm going to make another video after this one. So I just wanted to make sure to say happy holidays to everyone that is watching and everybody who subscribed. Uh, yeah, so I have dug through some of the 1 million card collection, as you can see back there. I'm chipping away at some of the boxes that were on top. Uh, right here in front is a combination of the 150,000 card collection and the 200,000 card collection, which were part of the same collection. I just picked them up in two different halls. So um, that's all there right in front. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to go through because everything I think I've showed you in previous videos, uh, a lot of the stuff is in here and stacked with like a ton of cards so to go through it it's a little bit a little bit longer a little bit more tedious to have to to pull the cards out of all of those and make sure you don't damage them but i found some pretty like i found the aaron Rodgers rookie card in there from the start so uh there's definitely gold to be found in that collection but after digging through some of the one million card collection here's three little piles that I put to the side to show you guys right here. Uh, start with this one up front. Uh, just some notable rookies, uh, Hall of Fame players. There's a Grant Hill rookie, Alonzo Mourning, played in college. There he is again. There's a nice Allen Houston Fleer medal. And we have a very good Fleer medal I'm going to show you that I found uh, a little bit later towards the end of the video. And here's a bunch of these Mark Jackson cards with the Menendez brothers there in the back. I always point these cards out because, believe it or not, these cards go for a pretty good penny. So I always point them out to anybody who's watching. Maybe you have some of these lying around or maybe you might come across them. Um, they're worth putting off to the side and uh, either keeping to collect or possibly selling so you can, you know, get something else that you like. Uh, here's this Tom Glavin Tops card. Um, I don't know too much about these cards and how they have this, like, this finish on them where it's, like, hollow. Um, does that make them, uh, a, like, a more rare? Or was this just a set that just came like this? Uh, so if you guys know, please let me know in the comments. Uh, but I found a lot of cards that are like this, uh, both in baseball and football. So I'm interested to know if it's like something special or if it was just a set. So there's Tom Glavin. And here's Mr. Ken Griffey Jr. 1990 Upper Deck. Very cool. Awesome card. And over here is upper deck previews and this is from 1998 i found a nice stack of these i remember having these growing up there's gary payton there's juan howard harvey grant abdul rahim brian reeves underneath there is Carl Malone, John Stockton, John Starks, Patrick Ewing, Sam Cassell, Keith Van Horn, Stefan Marbury, Sean Elliott, Billy Owens, Williamson, another one. 
There's a Rashid Wallace. Isaiah Ryder. Jason Kidd. Look at that on the Suns. Very cool. Look at the jerseys. Nice. Oh, and there's Jordan right there. And you got Nick Anderson. And last but not least, Vin Baker. So there's a nice little stack of 1998 Upper Deck preview. And for all the vintage collectors out there, I found a nice little stack of vintage cards. Now, I always say this in every video, but if in case anybody new is watching, uh, I know some about vintage cards, but I don't know everything. So if you see something uh, that I don't point out, please let me know in the comments. If there's something notable, a notable player, a notable card, please let me know in the comments. Uh, this allows me to highlight it and put it on the shop so that it's available to you or to everyone to, to purchase for their collection um, because I do collect most of the stuff, but I do not collect everything. So a lot of the stuff I do put up on the website, so it really helps me out. All right, here we go. Steve Mingori, George Mitwalder, you got two of those. Mario Mendoza, Angel Mangual, John Morlan, Dave May. John Montague, the second one of those, Andy Mesermith, Ernie McNally, the second one of those, Tom McCraw, John Ellis, Bobby Floyd, Danny Fraselli, Ed Farmer, Roger Freed, Tito Fuentes, Ted Ford, Charlie Fox, and last but not least, Alan Foster. So there are a nice uh, three stacks of cards that I wanted to show you guys that I found in the Million Card Collection. And now I'm going to show you some of the more notable cards that I found. And I'm pretty excited about this because one is super, super, super vintage. And one other is a Fleer medal that I do not have in my collection of one of my all-time favorite players. So, here we go. Let's cut to that. All right, here we go. I'm pretty excited about this one. On top here, we have an Eddie George rookie card. Underneath there, we have a Des Bryant rookie card. Don't really come across that too often. Here's a nice Warren Sapp rookie draft picks. We have a family ties, Clay Matthews and Jake Matthews. Here's a nice Ryan Tannehill rookie card, tops platinum. We have a Teddy Bridgewater Fire rookie card. Here is an Allen Iverson 1998 preview upper deck. Here is a 1992 Magic versus Jordan. And this card actually goes for a pretty penny, especially in good condition. Got some autos here. Here is a Demarcus Robinson rookie auto from Origins. Underneath there, we have a Keenan Allen rookie inscriptions from Elite 2013. And I believe, no, I'm not sure if this is numbered. No, not numbered, but still beautiful card. Then we have a Kevin Garnett rookie. And like I said earlier, here is one of my favorite players of all time, Mr. Michael Jordan. 
Fleer Metal. I do not have this card. So to find this card is pretty epic and add it to my collection. Very nice. And last but definitely not least, probably the oldest card. No, definitely the oldest card that I have ever found in any of the collections. It's a 1909 Sweet Caporal Cigarettes. And it is a Morarity Detroit. Played for the Detroit Tigers, George Morarity. Look at this card. Just to come across something like this is absolutely insane. It's not in perfect condition, obviously. Most of these cards, when you find them, uh, they're, they're not in the best of conditions. But it's definitely not in the worst of conditions. I've seen them much worse than this. But 1909, that's um, over 100 years old. So to, to be able to find this is absolutely insane. Um, you know, 2021, over 100 years later to find this in someone's collection is absolutely bonkers. So that's why I saved it for last. It may not be the most valuable out of everything that I found here, but for me, it's, uh, it's definitely pretty epic to find. So there you go, guys. Some nice vintage cards, some good Jordan Fleers, rookies. So uh, this haul uh, was pretty good. This time, uh, looking through these collections has definitely not disappointed. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the like button. It really helps out. And I'll leave a comment below. I love to hear from you guys. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.